hello so welcome to most awaited of video tutorial so android web driver so the main usage when we are discussing about the benefits of selenium web driver we have seen that it works for android and iphone also right so we'll be seeing how web driver can be launched on android and how to run the uh, first program like how to run the basic program so on android from our eclipse so that's what uh, this video intends to do so totally two uh, os it supports web driver one is android and another is ios so in this tutorial we'll be seeing about android stuff okay so it's not an easy to start with an, a program when we are want to run the scripts in some other OS Android is like one of OS right so you need to download uh, some stuff regarding Android and you have to download a web driver APK also so there will be a lot of installation procedure before you write the program so we'll see the step by step how to generate Android I mean device and how to download the APK and web driver APK from site and all okay so yeah we'll be going uh, from the scratch right so basically you need the android sdk to uh, launch android in an emulator or something in a device okay to work with android you need the android sdk the development kit of the android so first of all so i assume that there are nothing androids installed in your machine like I am telling from the scratch so you don't know about Android and you don't have any software installed in machine you just have Eclipse and Java okay so that's why I am teaching from the basic right so first foremost thing you need to download the Android SDK yeah this is the link where you can get the Android SDK uh, I'll paste this here get the android sdk so download it uh, from here download the sdk edit module for windows okay download this it will be having some 400 mb something it will take few minutes time i have already it in my machine okay once you download it you will get it in zip format the first step so i'll give you this document uh, no need to worry i have mentioned all the information required for android setup into our machine and to start with a basic web driver program okay i have given all the instructions in this word document so you can mail me regarding this document after completing the class right so copy this link here and paste it and get the sdk from here once you get downloaded this android sdk uh, you will see it in a second I have stored it in yeah this one edit bundle okay you will get in zip format extract it so this is the SDK what we have downloaded now okay please uh, unzip it once you got downloaded it will come in zip format so eclipse sdk and sdk manager even you get eclipse in this bundle okay we have already downloaded eclipse so if you not downloaded you can get directly from this bundle okay but our stuff will not deal with this first folder we will deal with this sdk second folder our total work today what we are going to do is in this folder this is an android sdk right so these are the stuff available here to know what is the uh, version of android we are having in this sdk go to the platforms folder you will see this android 17th version right so this is the version of the android we are having okay now yeah so 
this is the version where you have seen okay now we'll come back to our uh, word document we have done the first step we have downloaded the android sdk successfully from this link right next navigate to the tools directory in the android sdk which you have just downloaded so let's go back to this this is the tools directory right in this sdk here is the tools directory okay here you have all the related the device which you need to launch okay copy this folder right copy this folder open the command prompt and uh, go to that particular folder yeah so move to that particular path which path take the path of tools move to the tools folder copy entire path and give there right so next step 1 has done okay step 2 also done now we need to create a virtual device see basically you don't have an android now i cannot show you by taking a real time android machine but still we will uh, download i mean right so basically uh, android virtual device so we don't have as i told before we don't have a uh, virtual i mean real time android machine now i need to plug in and i have to show so what i am doing is we can uh, create a virtual device nothing but emulator okay we will create one device emulator okay one dummy emulator and we will deploy android uh, web driver android in it and we will run our program okay so i'll show how we will um, create a dummy emulator okay that's it's like a real time android app okay only thing is it's a dummy where you can run your site and all however you will do in your normal android mobile same thing you can do in this emulator this is like for a demo purpose so how android looks and all okay so what i am going to do is i will launch now that dummy emulator now i will see how to create that uh, android virtual device by using this sdk we will create one virtual device and then we will use our android web driver we will download android web driver apk from internet and we will install this android web driver apk into this uh, virtual emulator so that uh, we can start running the scripts i mean start automating the scripts in the emulator right so okay okay we'll discuss in two parts first part is uh, forget about web driver and android and all now we are just launching a virtual device which is an and which is an android os right so i'm just going to launch a virtual device with an android apps okay so how to create the virtual device for that you need to so you please be in this tools path okay you just go to the tools path and here we need to give this command android create i mean we are creating a virtual device nothing but emulator create avd that means we are telling create an android virtual device and n n gives for name give a name to that particular virtual device you can give any name so i'll give as a uh, web app something like that right so this is my emulator name so i am creating an emulator with the name web app n stands for name okay android create space avd is then command create avd is creating virtual device with the name web app and what version okay you have to tell i am creating virtual device okay what version of android should be there in that machine what version so when we downloaded sdk we have this uh, the version was this one uh, go to platforms you can see the android 17th we have the 17 android 17 version in our sdk so that we can we have access to give only that version because whenever we are asking to deploy 17 and uh, android version 17 into emulator right it will go into sdk and checks for the version 
and it will upload if you give some 13 or 14 version it will throw an error right because we have only 17 version in our hand so which version we have to know that go to platforms folder here in our SDK you will come to know so what is the version we are having right so version will give by T T stands for a version and my version is here 17 okay give enter so it is telling see that it's giving an error target ID is not valid that means the ID what you are using ID means here 17 the target version what you are telling is not valid but we have seen that it is an exactly Android 17 version only right so it is telling use Android dot bat list targets to get the target IDs I mean to know what are the target IDs installed in your machine use this command so that we will come to know what are the versions available to us so that we can put directly only that version name it is telling 17 is not available in our machine but we can still see the 17 here so let's check oh, what is the mistake so to know the versions in our command what are the android versions av available for us you can do this android dot bat just I am copying the above error that's it targets ok it is telling id 1 or android 17 we have to write not as just 17 we have to use complete name android minus 17 so before I have used just name 17 see here web app space minus t space I have given only 17 but the name of the id is you have to give 1 or android 17 that was the unique id assigned to that android version that's the reason we got error we'll do one thing same thing i'll write one here because android 17 version id is either one or you write entire qualified name android 17 we'll directly use one not a problem and now i'll give enter it is creating see that it is created auto selecting single i mean what is present in our uh, machine it's automatically selected that particular id 4.2 is a basic android platform yes okay so it is asking some stuff here do you wish to create a custom hardware profile give no we need to access directly with the present existing version so give no give an enter again right so avd virtual device is successfully created with an android 4.2.2 os okay so the virtual device which we try to create now it is successfully created with the name web app see the uh, logs here created android virtual device web app that's the name we have given for that based on this platform android 4.2.2 is the platform okay so what we have given here very simple okay don't you confuse and we have just android create avid is the command space minus n this is the name of my android here i have used web app but here i have some it's the name any name name of the android minus t version name so version name can be got uh, one that's what he has given here that's it we have successfully created virtual device with an android 4.2.2 os right so now we are ready to open that device okay the device is ready now we need to open it now comes catch how to open the device right we have created now now our next step is to open the device so i told you right earlier i have divided into two phases phase one is forget about web driver we have created a downloaded an android sdk step one we have created a virtual device and install android 17th version into it right and now we are launching that device this is the phase one right in phase two what we are doing is we will download selenium web driver api from internet and we will install that web driver api into the existing device and next we will open our eclipse and we run our scripts so that these will be automated in that device and that is the process so in phase one we will just launch so we are in last step in the phase one okay now 
you need to go to the other path because to launch the emulator i mean the device you need to go to tools folder because in tools folder we have emulator dot exe the this was present in the tools folder so to launch this currently now if you see command prompt we are in where we are lying in tools right so no problem we are directly into this folder tools folder and will directly launch the emulator now so just i am explaining why we are moving to the tools folder and we are doing all this stuff means we have our emulator in tools folder that's the reason i have moved to tools path and there i am working okay the command is emulator av okay this is the command i'll tell you command is emulator space hyphen avd and give your app name i mean what the name you have given to your device i have given web app right so this is my web app this is the command emulator space hyphen avd space our web i mean device name space ampersand so this is the command you need to give so once you give the enter uh, it will take uh, one or two minutes now it will successfully launch emulator yeah this was our desired uh, virtual device look here web app is our android name so you can see in the top so because we have given web app name right that stuff you can see on the top that's uh, now android is successfully launching so it will take just one or two minutes to launch so once we'll quickly go back and see what we have discussed in phase 1 okay from the basic we don't know anything about android we simply went to this link and downloaded complete android sdk bundle which have which android os will come right once we got the os we will navigate to tools directory and copy the path and go to that particular path in command prompt and then we have created a new virtual device with this command android create avd hyphen n the name of the your app, app you can give anything and the version okay give some random version it will throw an error then you can give that particular command which it will ask that you can give this command android dot bad space list space targets give some randomly it will give us use this uh, vers uh, command at the next use that command you will get what id you are having take that id and place it here and then run you will successfully create a virtual device once you created now we are launching it with this command emulator space hyphen avd space at the app name what you have given here okay here i was given my app same thing i am giving here space ampersand so when you run this you will android will successfully open okay so it's still opening it will take a few minutes time so yeah that's a uh, pretty much about the phase 1 right in phase 2 uh, we will see how to download web driver android apk and how to install it in our current existing this emulator device and then how to write the program and how to connect both this emulator and our eclipse and we'll see the first a uh, basic program on android right hope you are clear with this i'll share this document with you you can go through this and you can follow the same instructions and you can do it in your workplace right so in the next video we'll be discussing phase 2 thank you